Yes. I'll, I'll have to be honest with you. I, I, don't, I can't lie to you. We know yeah. each other too well. Sure. I have not seen Parenthood Fine. yet. Fine. <laughs> Courage to keep going and be miserable. <clears throat> wouldn't that be funny? You just get you never come back at all. Yeah. Never. Wouldn't that be funny? And, and you know. <laughs> no, we, we don't want to mess up your uh, routine on this. I mean, uh, the number of times you've been here. This is yours. Somebody pointed out. Do you have any idea how many appearances you've made on the uh, Tonight Show over the years? I think it's like sixty or something. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Sixty-six times. <laughs> I do, I do have an idea because I always keep a diary of the show and you know how I did and what material I used and how it went over and oh, things. That's on. interesting. Yeah, I always, I've always kept that with all my a diary. My career. I, I bring it down with me and uh, like after the show, I'll make quick notes on how it went so I know what I did so I don't, God forbid, ever repeat any material. Oh, that's right. That's, that's a show business sin. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Well, like to do something you did five years ago that no one remembered that went great and then do it again. Oh man, <laughs> did you? Now did you? <laughs> Did you bring your diary tonight? Oh, I always have it with me, yeah. <laughs> well, you want me to read something? Yes. Oh, God, yeah. If it's not too personal. No, no, that's fine. Sure. Let's a diary see. is intentionally personal of possession, you know, and I wouldn't want you well, to... I think every show business personality should keep a diary of how their shows went. Mm -hmm. Let's see, here's one. December 8th, 1984, a Tonight Show. Good show, went well, lots of laughter. Ed, very funny. Johnny oh. seems sluggish. <laughs> Well, that can happen. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, we all have. <laughs> Every, once in a while, you have an off night. Absolutely. Every performer has those. April 2nd, 1985. Great shot. I felt great. Audience was great. Wall to wall laughs. Everything seemed to work. Ed, funniest I've ever seen him. <laughs> Johnny seems sluggish. <laughs> Yeah, but this is 66 appearances you made. Oh, yeah, I, mean. I did a lot, so, yeah. <laughs> November 12th, 1985. Very funny appearance did longer than usual because things were going so well. Doc, exciting, colorful, and vibrant. Ed was hilarious. Johnny it just seems... didn't seem to be there. <laughs> In fact, he wasn't there. It was Jay Leno. Comedy is cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. October 2nd, 1986. Sensational appearance. I was really on a roll. One of my best shots. Audience was really hot. And? By you? Oh, yeah. Sluggish. <laughs> Let's see. September 24th, 1987. I was hysterical. <laughs> Lots of ad-libbing that played all sensationally. Johnny was terrifically funny. There's a note here, if you can call sluggish <laughs> December 5th, 1987. Mm, I was bad. Real bad. But compared to Johnny and Ed, I was... <laughs> April 10th, 1988. Great show. One of my best. Audience seemed to love me. Big applause. Ed, Doc, Johnny. Sluggish, sluggish, sluggish. <laughs> Well, there it is. How about tonight's show now? You well, can, I will you fill do out. after the show, you will, I will fill, fill in how I may as well do that now. Yes, why not? <laughs> That's all. Mind if I borrow this? No, please. Well, let's see. The old diary up to date here. So it'd be uh, August 30th, August. 1989. Right. Great appearance. <laughs> Top of my form. Uh, audience loved me. <laughs> Underline that. <laughs> Not only is the comedy funny, but it has depth and meaning. Uh, much of the audience actually felt moved <laughs> and laughed through their tears. Let's see, Johnny. <laughs> Two G's, I believe. <laughs> Sluggish. Sluggish, right. Worked at I was going to say eggish. A eggish. <laughs> Funny. Good to see you again. Thanks. Nice to be back. Even though I have not seen the picture, I hear marvelous things. Get down here. Sit down. <laughs> I hear marvelous things about it. Now, you don't have children. Can I get rid of this now? Sure, you can. 
Uh, no, I don't. You have don't kids, have kids, but, and uh, you're working with kids. I was working with kids, and there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of kids on the set. First, Ron Howard has kids. Right. All the actors and actresses had kids, and we had kid actors. You like kids? Family. You like kids? Basically, they were, they were great. They were great. Of course, I had it easy because I only had them on weekdays. Uh, you know, and I went home at seven, but I really uh, got along with them well. You know, I found that through humor, you can really yeah. reach them, and they they catch on to your sense of humor, and you get a little. And you can't talk of, down to them. No, I mean, you can't talk down to them. Yeah, because they sense that right away if you're being patronizing. Yeah, in fact, we used to do a, a gag right, that I would teach them, at, and every morning, the little girl would go, and the little boy, Jason and Allison, they'd go, Steve, and they'd run at me. This was all rehearsed. We'd do it in front of people. And as they'd run toward me, I'd put their, my hand on their heads and throw them to the ground like this. <laughs>